G'day everyone. Uh, today's episode, we are doing snake bite first aid. And to assist us, we've got the Survival Emergency Solution Snake Bite Kit. These things are fantastic. Affordable, compact, easy to carry around. Go. Now, what's in them? All the good stuff. So, we've got very effective snake bite pressure bandages. We've got splints. Um, you've got a basic crepe bandage, gloves, and this little handy device, a pen. I'll show you how that comes in handy a bit later on. Now, Snake Bite First Aid has come a long way, all right? You know, you go back 60, 70 years, most snake bites, people would usually tourniquet them, cut the bite site, and they would think that with that limb tourniquet and the bite site hacked apart, the venom would leak back out of them. Didn't happen, all right? What's happening with our strain snakes, they've got really small fangs, okay? Compared to things like, you know, rattlesnakes, baboon vipers, and so on, really small, um, when they bite you, they barely scratch the surface of your skin. What's happening is the venom is actually traveling through your lymphatic system, which is the glands that's under your skin there. So they worked out if we use pressure bandages, like, you know, traditional crepe bandages, over that limb, applied, you know, a nice bit of pressure, it slowed down the movement dramatically. But some of the problems people were having is they were putting the bandages on too tight or not tight enough. So they came up with these awesome little bandages. So put that down. This is your smart bandage. These things are awesome. All right, so look, we've got rectangles. Pull to the correct tension. Boom, we got squares. So it's a pressure guide as you're applying it. Now the majority of bites in Australia are usually on the feet, knees, or the hands. Now, all you need to do in this situation, I'll tell you, if you've picked a snake up and it's bitten you, let go of the snake, don't continue to keep holding it. That's something people keep doing. Um, they, they pick them up, they get bitten, and they try and get someone near them, uh, or even themselves to take a photo of the snake, or they continue trying to kill it. Most people that get bitten by snakes in Australia are middle-aged men trying to kill them, okay? If you see a snake, don't muck with it, leave it alone. It's really simple. Now. First thing you do, drop the snake, move away from it, okay? Now, if you've got someone with you, they can assist you in the first aid. If you're by yourself, it's really easy, all right? And I'm gonna do it by myself today. So, we've walked away from the snake, only a few meters, you're not gonna run 50 meters or 100 meters, you don't wanna get your heart rate up too high. Um, move away, and then first thing you're gonna do is remove any jewelry on that limb. There's a good chance you're gonna swell up, okay? So, some of the species will cause localized swelling around that, that bite side on that limb. Um, so just the way the doctors get all that, you know, bangles, bracelets, watches, rings, all that crap off. All right. Don't wash the bite side. If you're not a professional, you're not going to know it's bitten you. When you get to the hospital, they'll take a swab of the area. It was a venomous snake. There's a really good chance there's going to be venom residue on your skin there. They run it in the venom detection kit. It usually takes about 15 minutes, maybe 30 minutes, and they can get an ID of the species with the toxins from that venom. All right. Really, really easy. Um, and if they can't do that, usually they can work out with what your bloods are doing. And worst case scenario, if they can't get a, an ID on the species, they will give you what's known as a polyvalent, which is sort of a mix of different antivenoms. It's very effective. Now, you haven't washed the bite site, you've taken all the jewelry off, don't worry about trying to suck the venom out, you're not gonna be able to, and don't wee on it. That's something people still do. It's yuck, all right, and does nothing. Um, and then next thing, pressure bandage. And obviously, if you didn't have a pressure bandage on you, you'd make one out of your clothes, your shorts, your undies, whatever, doesn't matter, okay? Now, let's say I got bitten here. I'm gonna go one, two, three, like that. And then I'm gonna make my way up my arm here, like so. Don't worry about taking your shirt off or your shorts, just go straight over, maintaining that pressure. Get around to there. And then just tuck your little bandage in. If you get, oh man, tuck it in like that. All right. If you bought one of those bandages with those stupid little stretchy clips, don't worry about using them because we all know what they do. After like 30 seconds, they just go bing and let go. So just do that. Immobilize down here. Don't splint it. Just like that. All right. Uh, and obviously, you'd be sitting down too. Uh, during this. Now that's a nice effective pressure, medium, all the way over that limb. If you want, you can put a second bandage on. Um, I'd done that when I was bitten by a venomous snake. Um, it, there's no harm in doing it. Um, now, 
your hand is and your, that arm is going to start to ache after about 20 minutes or so but you just got to deal with it all right um, and when you get to the hospital only let the doctor treating you remove that bandages none of the nurses not your mum not your wife not your friends nothing like that leave that on okay and yeah, you just like that immobilize if you've got a second person put the splint on all right I'm not gonna worry about doing it it's not critical um, if I was somewhere maybe remote I'd put the, the, the splint on all right you just run it up the side of your arm there and you use this crepe bandage to fix it it's it's quite hard that's clean you, you run it out and mold it to the side of your arm there and then use that crepe bandage and you, and you wrap it on if you don't have something like that you can use a straight stick pretty basic um, yeah and these applied correctly and straight up you know within the first minute or so they will buy you hours of time okay I've heard of cases of people not being able to get to a hospital for over eight hours and they've felt no symptoms from that bite they are fantastic without this venom will move about 10 centimeters a minute in that lymphatic system that's quick and then once you're up here pull big trouble all right um, so yeah these first aid kits they are awesome if you want them jump on online to survival emergency solutions or look them up on Facebook their Instagram um, and uh, and flick them a message they're absolute legends and like I said these are affordable I've got about three of their kits now one of them I've had for over 10 years now and they're, they're awesome really durable little packs and uh, most of them have got something they can clip onto your bags or your belts or whatever good stuff if you've got any uh, comments or anything or anything else you'd like to know about this first aid give us a bell otherwise thanks eh? I'll see you next episode